buddies. Probably three years ago, I saw my first lantern fly, and I thought that they were so pretty. And that's kind of before I knew how invasive they were. Um, so once I found out how invasive they were, I kept thinking that it would be really cool if we could do something positive about the fact that they have to be killed. Um, so I had this idea that I wanted to make jewelry out of their wings, kind of the way that people make butterfly wing jewelry, because the lanternflies have beautiful wings. At the conservancy I work at, uh, I noticed that we had a little influx of lanternflies. Um, so pretty recently I went and killed my first bunch and took their wings off and uh, played around with some ways to make jewelry with them and it is starting to come to fruition. Yeah, I've thought about doing this for a long time but I've been trying to figure out ways to like put them in glass or encase them in certain ways and then I had the idea of literally just taking the wings and trying to laminate them just as a first go round and it actually worked out pretty good. So that's how my first round has been going. I've heard that remark from a lot of people. People think that they're pretty but also a lot of people that have uh, infestations don't think they're pretty anymore, which I understand too. So for these, I literally killed them right over here. Um, I say sorry before I do it because I feel bad. <laughs> uh, so I kill them and then I gently take their wings off. Or they come in pairs of wings. Take both wings off. Um, I put them on a laminated sheet. I have to lay them all out. Um, I cut them to shape and then I put them on jump rings. I made them so that they're two separate wings so they can move. You can kind of move them however you want to. Um, I try to mimic the way that they actually look in nature. See their wings up like that? Oh, look at them on me. Ooh, I mean, throughout the years I've killed plenty, but as far as collecting goes, I've probably killed maybe 60. There are two different types of bands. So this one is like raised off of the tree a bit, so it kind of, since the lanternflies look thick, I feel like they get stuck on the edge there. And these bands are just open, which is really sad to me because they just get all of these pollinators. These are all pollinators that are beneficial. See, like this guy is still alive. These things upset me. My friends have told me that the streets are literally littered with dead lanternflies, so I'm gonna go help clean the streets. <laughs> Especially now. <laughs> I'm making jewelry. <laughs> I'd like to start donating the money that I make towards conservation efforts, which I think is a really good way to go. Um, and eventually we're gonna wipe these suckers out, and then there won't be any more. So it'll be a good problem to have.